Hi, welcome to another edition of Taste of Terry. Today we're going to make inexpensive and really, really good apple turnovers. Um, it's a quick, it's an easy recipe. There's, I mean, basically like two ingredients, but there's a couple extra for like toppings, things like that. So here we go with apple turnovers. Okay, let's get started. First, what we have here, and now this recipe can be used for apple, cherry, strawberry, whatever filling you want. We're going to do apple here. Put the filling in you like. We have some, as you can see, great value, inexpensive, apple pie filling. These are rolled crusts, okay? These are also great value. This is like $2.30. This is like a couple bucks each. Going to need a little sugar, a little bit of milk. And that's it, and away we go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna break open this dough. That's like a regular pie crust dough that they sell in most of these stores. Um, it, I, I haven't seen much difference in any of them. So you pick which one you want. I use the inexpensive one. Now we're going to roll out the dough a little bit here in order to make our turnovers. Now each thing of dough will make pretty much will make pretty much uh, four turnovers with two of these. So what I do is I cut it in half, simply and easy. We're going to open up the apple. There we go, the apple pie filling. Apple pie, apple pie. So, we're going to open that up, and then we're going to take some of this, look at that luscious apple pie filling. So we'll take some of this, and we're going to put it on the side here. Boom, boom. Let's stick this on there. We want some apple. Who wants apple? Everybody wants apple. So put a little bit on there just to fill it up a little bit. Okay. I'm going to add one more slice because I like apple. And once that's done, all you got to do is flip this one up. This one's got a good amount in it. I'm going to put more in the next one. Add it as liberal as you like. Some people don't want it on a leaf. Now then all I'll do is I'll fold it over and pinch it off. Okay. That's what you got to do. You see the fillings right there. Add it, fold it over, and pinch it off. Okay, once we're done with this, we move it right over to the cookie sheet. Okay, so that one's going to go on the cookie sheet first. We're going to take the next one. And we're going to add this and add some more. This one's going to be a little bit more heaping. It's, it, again, it's on your taste of what you like to do. I have to like a lot of apples in it, but you know, you can't overfill it, okay? You just, because if you do, it won't, it won't seal right when you try to cook it. Hey, look at that. I'm going to actually throw one more on there. That's going to be great. You see, I only used about a third of a can of the apples, which saves, saves you some apples for maybe something in the future is coming up. I can show you what in a few minutes because <laughs> there's more to come in another video now mind you I've already as usual preheated the oven the oven is preheated to 350 okay and they will well, you'll end up having to cook them you watch until they're you know brown and cooked but you only have to cook them for about 15 to 20 minutes so, you know, and I've noticed sometimes ovens cook, cook quicker than other ovens, okay? So I'm just going to make two of them for now. We're going to throw them on there to save some time. There they are on there. The next step is I have some milk in a bowl. I have a brush for the milk in a bowl. What I'm going to do is take the milk and the brush, and I'm going to brush it on. Now, I want to show you something. I have a brush. You may not have a brush, Okay. If you do not have a brush, we'll take a little spoon and just spread it around. 
that I happen to have a brush, so I will use it. If you don't have one, it doesn't mean it's the end of the world, okay? Once it's done like that, you take some sugar, grab a pinch of sugar, sprinkle it around there, sprinkle it on. I like to put a lot of sugar on. That makes me feel sweet. Okay, and there you have it. Now we're going to put these in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes and we'll be back with our finished product. Okay, we're back with our finished product. Look at these apple turnovers. Okay, we're going to take it off. I'm going to take them off the pan real quick. I didn't put any cooking spray on the pan. They usually don't stick too bad. You might want to add it depending on your pan. Ooh, hot, hot, hot. But take a look at that. Apple turnovers. Let's cut it open for you. Piping hot. Beautiful apple turnovers. Inexpensive, easy to make, and just now, just a little hot, so I'm not going to eat it right now. I'll burn the top of my gums. But there you go. How to make quick, easy, inexpensive apple turnovers. A couple more baking videos are going to be coming up for this week. So, hope you tune in. Hope you subscribe and enjoy the apple turnovers.